He died as he lived, with stupid ass hair. Oh my god, Cheetah getting smashed, unceremoniously smashed. <laughs> By himself, out in the dark, nobody else noticed. And the two people did it, thought nothing of it, literally nothing of it. It wasn't even barely a topic of conversation. <laughs> that was so good. I don't want to start another coffee fit, so I won't laugh too much, but so, so good. Let's just jump straight in this. This is episode 43 of season 5. It's also episode 118, A False Revenge. So, Knuckles going to fuck up again, apparently. Let's do this. We're going on one. Three, two, one. <laughs> Up in his feelings, man. <laughs> yep, you people who can't follow orders are of no use to in a situation like this. Dumbass. Yeah, like your ego, apparently. Your pride and your ego are more important than saving the world. <sighs> Unbelievable. Unfucking believable. Maybe I can drink my rage away. <laughs> Dumbass. We're getting down to it, man. Let me see. Uh, 17 left this season. I think there's only 12 next season. We are really getting down to the bottom of things, man. I'm going to be sad to see this show go. Let me, see, let me make sure. Yeah, it's only 12 next season. That's it. So that's only 29 more episodes. Jesus. It felt like this show would go on forever, man. Hmm. I'm going to talk in a few more weeks. I'll have to think about that. Maybe I'll finish this in just like a couple binges. I didn't realize we were getting that fucking close. Wait, did that say false rage? I thought this down here says false revenge. I have to go back and look at it later. Yep, leaning tower, we get it. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you were, though, but for just five minutes ago, that's exactly what you were. You ain't changed that much in five minutes, bitch. <laughs> well, he's hiding his cocoon like a bitch, so it don't matter. At least these guys focus. Ew. Shit. 
Shit. God damn. Well, that can't be fucking good. Wait, is he get? Is, is that how he's escaping? Of course. Oh, shit. Shit. Oh, okay. The dragonflies are his. I... For a second, I thought they were talking about the uh, poofs shit, right? You're making a lot of assumptions there, dude. That can mean anything. <laughs> so the decaying corpse is crying, huh? Or sweating. So there's only Bloster and uh, Welfin left, right? That lion is out there somewhere, but I don't think he's he's not really around here anymore. You don't seem calm, dude. Does it matter? You can't pull him now, man. He's suspicious now. It doesn't matter. Whatever it was. Right. See his big ass claws. How does he push in elevator buttons? I'm just saying. No. That's all you can do. Well, you know, Flutter is. Technically, he already is. <laughs> Where are my bitches at? <laughs> are you Palm? He's an idiot. Right? She's standing there looking at the phone, which, you know, illustrates the point. <laughs> the one spoke. True. Oh, shit, a message. Excellent. That's brilliant. Exactly. But he don't know shit about this.
Well, goddamn. I don't like that assumption. You have failed this city. <laughs> Look at that determination in his eyes. Hey, don't try to get creative, kid. I don't trust this creativity. God damn. Okay, let's get bloodthirsty. Fuck it. Oh, shit. Run him over. Man, I would sped up and run him the fuck over. Of course, he has magic, so I'm sure that would have dispatched with the truck. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh-oh. <laughs> God damn. Well, that didn't work out. Man, he sh I would like I said, I would try to run him over. Fucking hell, man. He shot the fuck out of him. That's a reverse drive-by shooting. Huh. I was sure he was smuggling weed. <laughs> you shot my best agent? Oh, shit. He's actually in there. I thought he was somewhere else, man. Fucking hell. I didn't realize that. <laughs> but the thing was, he said, I'll ask Hagia later. He literally just referred to him as the same name he said that was suspicious. You notice that? Why would he do that? If you use the name Hagia, I'm not going to get caught up in this, I'm just saying. That don't make sense. If you use the name Hagia, that means you're you're an imposter. I'll, I'll ask Hagia later. So where has he been all the rest of this time? You know, now that you mentioned he did come out of the tunnel, didn't he? I guess I lost track of him after that with everything else that's been going on. I assumed he was far away. Yeah, because he had the hat. I remember commenting on it. I do remember that now. Yeah, he was with him. Yeah, well, you know, everything, all this clash of Titan shit happening, man, it's very understandable. I don't know. Agreed. That's what I would do. <laughs> you can't do that. I'm up in my feelings. Okay, well, that's that's valid.
<laughs> yep. Aren't you pleased with yourself? I bet this is called a false rage. That makes more sense than false revenge. <laughs> Look at this motherfucker. <laughs> I love his little self-satisfied face. <laughs> I thought you were faking the rage, bitch. <laughs> On your knees, bitch. You may have heard his eyes what happens too. <laughs> That's right, motherfucker. Burn some more aura. Don't get greedy, motherfucker. This is a tragedy. Yeah, it is weird. That's the start of a romance. Oh, so maybe it is a false revenge. Oh, you can't get revenge for living people? Hmm. I don't know about that. Hey, dude, why don't you focus on the task at hand? <laughs> Who knew that was that big of a deal, man? If this I can get on board with. Fuck these ants. Oh, shit. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, you have been talking for a really long time, haven't you? <laughs> well, this is awkward. <laughs> He played you like a fiddle. If you were a fish, you'd be mounted on the wall, motherfucker. Can't stop, won't stop. Again. He's gonna hit the fuck out of me. Well, can you hurry it up, man? We got other shit to do. <laughs> yeah, you don't acquire this cocksucker. <laughs> He died as he lived, with stupid-ass hair.
Man, they are really booking this. Oh, shit. Killua came just in time. I completely forgot about Killua. I really thought this motherfucker was dead, man. Unbelievable. I cannot fucking believe this. They got me. Holy shit. I completely fucking forgot. They executed this perfectly. <laughs> I thought this some bitch was dead or, no, dead or disco, man. How the fuck did I forget about Killua? I completely fucking forgot. I would have been sitting there all smug like, he ain't gonna die. Killua's coming. I fucking spaced it, man. They got me. They got me good. Perfectly executed. Get the fuck out of here, dude. <laughs> yes, you did. You even saw the cherry blossom. <laughs> it's about my ego. Yes. <laughs> Bitch. Take this L. <laughs> this is that's right, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. How do they keep doing this to me? That's right. You got smacked around by a kid. Technically shocked by a kid, but you know, you know what I'm saying. What's up? Chump. <laughs> The game walking all casual and shit. What's up, motherfucker? Yep, so everybody is, really. <laughs> yep, everybody's pissed off right now. He's about to rock your shit. I'm gonna go back and see what the fuck they said the title of this episode was. A false rage. The official title of this episode is a false rage. I'll make sure that's up in the yeah you know, the top, and um, maybe I can put a little thing when I say it. I'll just put some text when I say it. You know, I mean, there. I mean, I don't know. There could be an episode called a false revenge later on, but with the number and with all this shit, yeah, we'll get we'll be on the same page. But that's weird. That's the first time I noticed the Netflix title was wrong. I wonder if that's a mistranslation or just some intern was a fucking idiot. Either way. <laughs> that was fucking awesome. Man, they fucking got me so good. They have really been getting me good, man. Like, that's what you hope to do as a writer. The best thing you could ever fucking do is misdirect your audience. Right out in front. You're not cheating. You just, it's misdirection. It's like, hey, look at this hand. Don't pay attention to this hand like walking up on you. Just pay attention to this hand, this hand. Don't look at the other hand, right? That's the best thing you can fucking do, man. And they fucking did it. That's why these episodes are paced the way they are. They set the shit up. It'll pay off, but in the meantime, there's so much fucking going on all the way across the board amongst everybody that you're going to forget something. I completely forgot Kill was coming to help him. And he came at just the right moment. Man, I was so fucking perfect. They set that up so beautifully. I totally thought that dude was dead. I did. I already had a couple more afterlife jokes for this motherfucker. About do they have hair product in the afterlife and shit. Man, I was already setting up my jokes. Man, all my jokes lined up. And I was like, wait a minute. The fuck just happened? <laughs> God, it was so beautiful. That was wonderful. The best misdirection I've ever seen was, um, I won't tell you which Stephen King novel it was, but there's a Stephen King novel. And I want to give him credit, or I wouldn't even say that. But I don't want to spoil this for you. But there's a novel in which there's uh, four main characters, okay? And then one, the four of them are going to do a mission. And one of them gets badly injured in a stupid freak accident. And so he can't continue, because they got to walk, right? He can't continue. And so... He's out there in the middle of nowhere in the middle of a fucking desert. And they got to leave him because they have to complete this mission. There's no choice. They have to do it, right? So they have to leave him. So they're, they're like, okay. They say the goodbyes like, well, we got to get going. He's got a badly destroyed leg and shit. 
And, you know, he has no, he has a little bit of food and water. They give him as much food and water as they can, but, I mean, they got to keep going and shit. They're going to leave him there with this busted up fucking leg, can't move, can't find water, can't get food. He's fucking dead. And so, they end that chapter with one of the other three looking back and talking about, and they never saw him again. You know, Stephen King does this shit sometimes. That kind of pisses me off, actually. He'll make these declarations. It's like, well, I would kind of just want to fuck, and this is, he's done, he had done this many times, right? So it's nothing unusual. He'd be like, yeah, you know, and she never saw her mother again. Well, fuck, man, we got two-thirds of the book left. I, you know, I kind of want to get to the end of the book to know that. Motherfucker. But Stephen King's always been weird about spoilers. Like, he, he doesn't believe spoilers exist. He's a weirdo. But so, they, so he writes that way, right? So anyway, so it's like, and they never saw him again. Well, the reason they never saw him again is the three of them fucking die. They're the ones that die, and the guy they left behind is the one who fucking lives. And we're convinced, we're absolutely fucking convinced that he is going to die. And they move on, and maybe another one of them will die or something, but, like, we're 100%, there's no doubt in our fucking mind he's going to die. And they're going to live. Well, the reason they never saw him again is because they fucking died and he lived. I was like, man, that was beautiful, man. A work of fucking art. It was the way he phrased it. And they never saw him again. If he had said, and he never saw them again, we would know he survives. Both things are true. But the which one you use is how you want to mislead your audience. You know, because like if he had died there, it'd be true. He never saw them again. So if he's going to die there and you don't want the audience to think he's going to die there, and that they're going to die, you phrase it that way. If they're going to die and he's going to live, you phrase it the other way. And they never saw him again. It's all a misdirection, man. And whenever you can actually successfully pull it off, that's top-notch writing shit right there, man. 